Howdy douchebags, and for tonight's video I just want to talk about one thing that should be on all of our minds. The Mueller Report, also known as the Russian collusion story. Two years ago the acting attorney general asked me to serve as special counsel and he created the special counsel's office. The appointment order directed the office to investigate Russian interference in the 2016 presidential election. Before we begin, I just wanted to say four things that you may find worthy of consideration. Number one, and I'm sad that I even have to bring this up, but I'm actually not a Republican. In fact, if I must disclose, I actually voted for Bernie Sanders. And on a personality level, I actually kind of hate Trump. I think he's a malignant narcissist who is an idiot who thinks he's a genius. But next, I've never actually believed the whole Russian collusion narrative. Why? Because I know that people in high positions of power tend to lie. So sue me. Number three, I actually did work at a small newspaper for a while that happened to be owned by one of the major news corporations. And I actually received a memo while working for them saying that we were not allowed to write any articles that spoke positively about Trump and that we were supposed to take a pro-Hillary slant during the election. Next, for all of his efforts, Robert Mueller has come out with nothing that could actually incriminate President Trump, and yet, he refuses to say that he's innocent. As alleged by the grand jury in an indictment, Russian intelligence officers, who were part of the Russian military, launched a concerted attack on our political system. From a criminal justice standpoint, if you can't find any sufficient evidence that a person is guilty, I mean, yeah, you can say on a personal level, I'm not entirely convinced that he's innocent, but we don't have a lot of evidence, but if it's an investigation, and you didn't have any evidence of the person's guilt, you can't say that they're not innocent. It makes no sense. And we are not co commenting on the guilt or the innocence of any specific defendant. Since all of us fantastic people here are not only douchebags, but also assholes, I hope, you guys know what an asshole is, right? It's a person who asks questions that are inconvenient to a person who may not be telling the truth or wants the truth concealed. That's an asshole. And on this channel, my friends, assholes are definitely welcome. So we're gonna ask a few questions as assholes. Let's just assume for a second that the Russians did influence the 2016 election. If they did, what exactly did they do that was wrong? It's that they used sophisticated cyber techniques to hack into computers and networks used by the Clinton campaign. They stole private information and then released that information through fake online and identities and through the organization WikiLeaks. Now, before you start in on me, let me ask you this hypothetical. If there are two people running for city governor and I'm just a citizen, somebody you're friends with, and I tell you, hey, listen, I have verifiable evidence that that person, that candidate, committed crimes, therefore may not be fit for office. So you investigate what I'm saying and you find that it's true. So you don't vote for that candidate, you vote for the other candidate. At that point, would I be guilty of a crime? And if so, wouldn't that infringe on freedom of speech? I may be wrong, but it sounds like the main accusation being levied, particularly against the Russians, or Russian intelligence, whoever was responsible, is that they said things about the Hillary Clinton campaign that influenced the election. So my main question, obviously, at this point, as anyone's main question should be, is, did they say anything untrue? And if not, how does that constitute a crime? Maybe they went on social media and they made fake accounts. Maybe they posed as people that they were not. But, let me ask you this, how many of us have done that in our lives? How many of you have secondary social media accounts? 
Raise your hand. Oh Lord, I hope I didn't just incriminate myself. So basically, in summary, do I know how all this happened or who did it or who's responsible? No, of course not. But if you try to tell me that this whole thing isn't fishy, I'm gonna call you a liar. Thanks for watching, assholes, and stay awesome. There's this one time in high school where this guy named Joe Villaneva assaulted me in the hallway, punched me in the face and threw me into a locker. And then a couple of his friends joined in and started beating the piss out of me. Well, after that I colluded with the principal to tell the truth about him and uh, Joe got suspended for a little while. If you're watching this, Joe, I'm very sorry. I hope I don't get tried for treason. What's up, Whitey? I found a unicorn. Oh my god.